Hello, I'm the Mayor of Cambridge, Catherine McGarry. Welcome to our virtual State of the City Address. In early February, a small working group at the City of Cambridge started meeting to discuss the emerging global pandemic. Little did we know then that we would be dealing with a situation that would be nothing like anything we have ever seen in our lifetimes. Who could have predicted that we would now still be in an extended official state of emergency, the longest state of emergency in our history? On March 5th, the first COVID-19 case was diagnosed in the region. By March 15th, we had canceled all of our programs and events and closed all city facilities and recreation amenities. Seemingly overnight, we adjusted to a virtual workforce as well, we've redeployed staff to maintain essential services. We expanded our bylaw team to educate and enforce the new restrictions under the emergency orders. We have adapted to virtual council meetings to ensure council can continue to serve the public. We've also held the Ward 7 by-election safely with curbside voting. Our staff have worked hard to be creative and to keep connected with the community through our Rec From Home online program, our phone-based outreach service for seniors, and other online programs. Council approved short-term relief measures to support residents and businesses. And this included waiving short-term penalties and interest on property taxes and utility bills. We have taken our responsibility to keep the community informed seriously. We have been using every opportunity to share public health messaging and to share the directives around our physical distancing. And we want to thank our community heroes because while all of this was going on and we became more isolated from one another, something interesting began to happen. We became more connected. There've been countless inspiring examples of the community stepping up to make a difference. From volunteers making face masks to people delivering meals, to businesses retooling to make necessary medical supplies, it's obvious that we're in this fight together. We truly live in an amazing city with an amazing community who want to take care of their neighbors. Cambridge mask makers, for instance, have created almost 40,000 masks. On Halloween, some neighborhoods took it on themselves to boost people's spirits with amazing pumpkin people displays. Staff at CMH are working around the clock to keep us safe. Teachers, crossing guards, retail workers, so many who have had to walk on shifting sands to get their jobs done. I wanted to thank everyone for doing that. Our Invest Cambridge staff supported our local business community through an order from home social media campaign to promote our local stores and restaurants who are offering online and contactless options. We streamlined and expedited our patio permit process to enable businesses and restaurants to be able to offer more outdoor space. Many local Cambridge businesses pivoted to making essential PPE, hand sanitizer or other items for COVID to support the national pandemic response and ensuring we have a safe supply of PPE. We're continuing to service our provincially significant employment lands so more businesses can put down roots in Cambridge. Because even during a pandemic, businesses are choosing to call Cambridge home. In August, we were pleased to announce that Amazon.com is opening a new delivery station right here in the city. Filming in Cambridge started up again in the summer under tight protocols. Has anyone watched The Queen's Gambit? You'll see some of the filming right here in Cambridge. And other shows filmed in 2020 include Handmaid's Tale, Odd Squad, Good Witch, Murdoch Mysteries, and Lock and Key. 2020 also saw Murdoch Mysteries choose Preston as the exterior location for police station house number one. Our staff worked closely with our local vendors, farmers and public health to ensure that Cambridge Farmers Market, a much loved institution in our city, could continue to serve customers during the evolving COVID-19 restrictions. Amidst the pandemic, 
important city projects have continued. Site preparation started for the Cambridge Recreation Complex and the surrounding area, which will ultimately form an exciting new community hub in the southeast of our city. Land has been acquired and the design work started for the 12 field Fountain Street soccer facility. There were trails and park improvements, such as a new footbridge at the Living Levy Trail at Mill Race Park, and a new pedestrian and cycling bridge on the Mill Run Trail in Hespler. At Whitmer Park, we now have a new shade pavilion and a multi-use court. We've also continued landscaping at Centennial Park, and the city is upgrading our recreation facilities, such as renovating Preston Auditorium and adding a new ice pad in the future on that site, repairing the roof on the Hespler Arena. Council also recently approved a 20-year cycling master plan. The city is now looking for funding opportunities for prioritized projects to build a well-connected cycling network right here in Cambridge. Our special events team also successfully transitioned community celebrations to virtual and socially distanced formats are important. And these include the virtual celebration for the arts on June 19th and Canada Day. Whimsical Wednesdays had hundreds of views on our social media platforms. And our old post office digital light show has brightened people's spirits with a Halloween and fall, winter and holiday themed, and special digital projection show featuring student content that was developed by Conestoga College's School of Creative Industries. We've also transitioned to a new Christmas in Cambridge. Our winter illumination displays are now set up around the city to keep spirits merry. And don't forget the online Cambridge Christmas Market. This year, we have learned how to serve our community under a new normal of physical distancing, remote work, limited social gatherings, unpredictable revenue sources, and evolving public health restrictions. Of course, the pandemic has had major financial impacts on the city across almost every sector. And we know that our local businesses and residents have been struggling. Our goal is to help to lessen the tax burden on our residents and to support economic recovery. This is why there's a 1.27% increase in next year's tax budget, which is less than the forecasted cost of inflation. Council has advocated for, and the city has received, federal emergency funding, which in combination with our own cost containment efforts has helped offset lost revenues and has enabled us to bring forward this modest budget. In 2021, we will continue to focus on emergency and pandemic preparedness, community well-being and safety, and supporting our local businesses. We will be launching our revised strategic plan in the months ahead, which will further define and guide City Council priorities. As we work to update the strategic plan, we pivoted our community engagement tactics by leveraging digital opportunities such as Zoom and our Engage Cambridge portal in order to dig deeper into our community's priorities. So far, we have heard from more than 1,500 people. We know that community members care deeply about social issues and community safety, and we are working together with all of our partners to find solutions. We also know that Cambridge is a community with heart and its greatest asset is the people who live here. I would like to finish by thanking you, the community. Each and every one of you are doing your part to keep healthy, to support local, to keep the economy going, adapting to new technology during the restrictions, working and living amidst challenging and ever-changing circumstances. There is hope on the horizon. Vaccines are in the works and our city has many advantages. Our growing population and high employment rate has put us in a good position moving forward through this difficult period. Cambridge is a beautiful historic riverfront city. It's a place where families want to live, work and play. Due to our skilled labor force and proximity to major centers, 
It is a place where businesses want to set up shop. There is an end in sight. We can do this. On behalf of myself and all of City Council, thank you for your creativity and resiliency. Stay safe, well, and be kind. We're all in this together.